This video will show teachers how to navigate class activities, the gradebook, and the course editor in the Florida Virtual System. Once you've logged into your account, your classes will be represented by separate tiles. This teacher has a middle school language arts as well as a math course. Icons at the bottom of each tile will help you navigate from place to place. The first icon takes you to activities, the bar graph will take you to the gradebook, and the pencil will take you to the editor. Let's start with the activities in the language arts course. This page looks exactly like the student experience. And as you can see, each module is in its own folder. I always tell students that these are just like chapters. To see the lessons within a particular module, click on the arrow next to the folder. It will expand. This icon represents a lesson. This is something to read, interact with, or a video to watch. They're set up very similarly to PowerPoint slides. This icon represents a multiple choice short answer quiz or test. And this icon represents an assignment that students need to upload. Could be a document, PowerPoint presentation, a graphic, or a picture. For every lesson, there is a corresponding assignment. Lesson 1.02 has a corresponding uploaded assignment of 1.02. Let's take a look at a lesson. Lessons open in the same browser window and are set up like PowerPoint slides. They can be navigated through by the arrows or by clicking on the number of slides and choosing the slide number that you'd like to view. Assignments are always listed on the last slide of the lesson under what is my assignment for this lesson. On each slide, students can choose to print their work, they can look at a glossary of terms for each lesson, and they can also take notes. Notes open in a separate window. Let's go on back to home by navigating with the arrow in the upper left. Here we are still in the activities. I'm going to close this folder by using, once again, the arrow next to the folder. And I'm going to navigate back home by using the three lines in the upper left corner. Go ahead and click on the home icon. The next thing we'll take a look at is the gradebook. There are several different ways to access work that needs to be graded. If you have assignments that need to be graded, in the Need Graded section, there'll be a yellow circle with a number in it. The number indicates the number of assignments that need to be graded. To click on this, all of the assignments that need to be graded will li be listed here on the left. St the very first one will be open. You can read the assignment here. If it's an uploaded assignment, there'll be an option here to click it into another browser window. Once you've read it, you can go back to the Florida Virtual tab and you have some choices here. You can leave feedback in the feedback window. It has some basic editing tools. This is feedback that students will see. You can also add attachments such as a rubric or possibly a welcome letter in this area here. For grading, you can add a number grade. Some assignments in Florida Virtual are based on percentages. Some are based on points. If you're not ready to return this grade to the student, you can click on draft. Once you've added a grade, the submit score button will turn from gray to blue. Once you click this button, feedback and grades will be available in the student gradebook. You can excuse students from an assignment, which will remove these points from their final total. You can give an automatic full credit by clicking this button, or you can grade it and offer no credit, which means that the students will receive a grade, but it will not factor into their final grade. An allow retry allows students who maybe didn't get the grade that you or they desire 
to turn in an assignment again. If this button is not clicked, students will not have the ability to turn in assignments more than once. Once you've submitted a grade, the grade will show up over here as graded, and it will also show up in your gradebook as well as the students. Let's go back home and take a look at the full gradebook. Let's take a look at the gradebook for this English class by clicking on the gradebook icon. This is the gradebook with all students in it and all assignments. This is a really good at a glance area to look at what a student has done, what their grades are. And also at the bottom of the screen, you'll receive a, an average for overall grades and each assignment in your class. It's really great for record keeping. Maybe as a class, students didn't do so well on something and you can go back and reteach. The last thing we're gonna look at in this video is the course editor. This will allow you to move assignments, the order of assignments, and it will also allow you to hide assignments either things that you don't want students to interact with yet or assignments that you're not going to assign at all during the school year. Let's go back home using the three lines and the home icon. And once again, we're gonna look at this language arts class. We're gonna click on the editor. This is a carbon copy of what was in the activities page. These are all of the modules or chapters. There are some things you can do like adding an activity to a module. We'll look at that in a later video. You can edit a module. You can also hide a module. At the beginning of your course, this is going to be a very important icon. So because we're starting out and we only want students to look at module one, I'm gonna go through and click the hide button on each of the modules other than module one. This will take this module off the activities page for students. This module will still show up on your activities page, but it'll have this icon in the upper left corner. As you can see, module one is still open because the eyeball is gray. I'm going to expand this module by using the gray arrow next to the folder. And I'd also like to hide everything after module after lesson four for each student. This will once again take it out of their activities page. I'm going to release these at a later date so students don't work too far ahead without feedback. Once you re want to release an assignment to a student or groups of students, you can unclick and it will automatically show up on the student's activities page. You can also move assignments. You may possibly want to give lesson 1.02 before 1.01. .01. To do that, click on the three dots connected to the assignment or lesson you'd like to move, and you click the move up arrow. And you notice it bumped up one. It came in front of the 1.1 assignment. And I'm going to move up and do that one more time so that the lesson comes before 1.01. .01, and now you can see them out of order. One suggestion, if you are going to edit an assignment, don't change the full name of the assignment. If you want to add something to it, that's fine. But if there's a problem at Florida Virtual and we need to contact their tech support, We'll need the assignment of the name of the assignment to stay the same. Once you've done anything on this page, you'll click save and it will return you to the editor. There's no save on this page. Everything done here is automatic. To return home, navigate to the three lines and click the home icon.